good morning. Our last stop of the day happens to be my house. Welcome to the Jaegersberg Garden. This is my husband, Pete, Hi. and I'm Julia. And we're here uh, because we were sponsored by Positively Pewaukee. Thank you very much, Positively Pewaukee, for, for being such a great partner in this whole event. Um, we really have partnered together and, uh, and helped each other out, and it's been great. Um, the special guest today is Melinda Myers. Um, Melinda has uh, helped us out in three gardens, being a wonderful tour, and we thank you very much. Oh, it's my pleasure, and I want to thank um, American Transmission Company for underwriting my visit here. I work with them on the Grow Smart program, encouraging gardeners to grow pollinator-friendly plants, especially short ones under utility lines, but every gardener to help us support those all-important pollinators. And you've got quite a few pollinator friendly plants here. Yes, we do. We try. <laughs> I love your backyard. Now, I know there's an interesting story when you bought this house about the backyard. Maybe share that. Well, yeah. Um, well, we built a house in Sussex and then had three children, outgrew it. So I kind of immediately wanted a bigger house once I got that in my head, kind of that way about things. And so I saw this house, and, and at the time it was just a packed forest. It had a lot of elm and a lot of ash. And it reminded me of my cottage in northern Wisconsin. And um, I, I just fell in love with it for the forest. And I fell in love with it for this um, beautiful little oasis back here that nobody knows I have if you drive by the front. It Why did you love it? <laughs> I like the, the side garden and the, and the flow of the yard and going up the hill and how that all works. And I know a lot of people didn't want the challenge of this yeah. topography, but I love this because it creates such an intimate space. Yes. Um, you know, you have a large yard to enjoy, but you have that nice cozy feeling yes. when you want to gather, have a meal, and so you've done such a nice job. And I can tell art is very important it in is. your life, <laughs> in your personal life as well as your profession. Tell me a little bit about some of the artwork you've included. Oh. Collecting art is my favorite thing to do. Um, I, I go to the Mount Mary Starving Artist Show every year, and buy, I come home with several pieces, and uh, you'll see it everywhere you look here. It was, uh, it, it's not happening this year, so my collection's gonna go down a little bit, but. Save money for next <laughs> yeah, year. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> a rock wall can be challenging, and I've noticed you've taken advantage of it. Who does the planting in the little nooks and crannies? Well, a friend of mine gave us these plants. The for sedums? The uh, yep, and, uh, and the we just kind of been spreading it around over the years and one i think you start with one or two plants and it's really taken off nicely it's really well and i love how you've included virginia creeper our native oh. it can be a little out of control but it looks like you're keeping it somewhat tame. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah i feel like it just softens the rocks i i love it very much i i'm, I'm pulling it out all the time but i'm trying to keep it under control but i really think it has just sort of a, a magical sort of wavy feel to it that I like. And I think that's really important when we have hardscapes in the landscape, using plants to soften those. And I like how you anchor your artwork in the garden so it looks like it's part of the garden. Obviously, that's your expertise, along <laughs> with being a great gardener. Your maidenhair fern is beautiful. Yes. We didn't know what it was till you told us <laughs> what it was. <laughs> but now we're like, oh, we're so proud of our maidenhair yeah. fern. You can brag about it all the yeah. time. And I like the other thing you did in this area is you've got individual seating spaces. And I think yeah. when you have a long, narrow space, sometimes it can be challenging. Yes. So your larger table yes. for when you have more guests, kind of the cozy after dinner or afternoon relaxation. And, um, and I see you're ready for colder weather. Oh yes, that extends our season on the patio. We really love that. So how long do you get to enjoy your patio? 12 months? Are you that hardcore? Uh, <laughs> we're out till could be November. We're still okay. yeah, here. Yeah, we can in the winter. Yeah, and we have the chimney out and, and with the seating here, we this is a gathering spot for our family. And it's around. nice and yeah. isolated and yeah, very yeah. insulated. Yeah. And we have to talk about the real star of the show. No offense, <laughs> but I heard uh, Coda's been stealing the show. Here. Yes, she is. <laughs> and she's all excited about cell phone reflections right now. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not me she's attracted <laughs> to. Well, this is just a little part of your garden. Let's take a walk up to the play area. I was going to say, um, he had rebuilt, he rebuilt these beautiful stairs, which they used to be little tippy stones that people felt. We thought they would fall. Right. No one well, ever did. <laughs> okay. Good, good point. Well, and I think it makes it more usable, too, if you have easy transition. Yes. 
And more artwork. One of the things I love about using artwork is you can fill any voids that maybe the plants didn't grow as tall. Yours are all healthy here. Yeah. And um, and we have a lot of oak trees. Yeah. So <laughs> you remove some trees, but you kept quite a few. Yes. And well, right behind Julie, who's filming, is our star attraction. Uh, if we live in Centennial Oaks, um, so we don't know how old oh, um, this tree is, but my daughter named her Big Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> and we put a swing on her right away, and we love, we love this tree. And I snuck in a visit before today, and their neighborhood children were enjoying your backyard. I know your children maybe have outgrown a few of the yes. amenities here. Yeah, we try, to, we try to make it a beautiful space for gathering with friends and family, enjoying the garden, but also to play. You know, with the swing, the hammock, and the trampolines, and and Pete even made a path um, through the woods to oh, the kids, nice. so so they have a welcome mat when they come. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, a great place to inspire artists as yeah. well. So I'm going to walk away and do a little more <laughs> peeking behind the plants. And thank you both for letting me join you here in your garden. So we are looking at Mary Whitakis, who's the president of the Pewaukee Hello. Area Arts Council, and she's joined us today and she's doing a watercolor. Trying, yes, <laughs> shall I turn? It's, it can move. I'm inspired by that planting bed over there with all the lovely hosta and the tree trunks, and I think that's Kathy Sandra underneath it, I'm guessing, yes. but it's just gorgeous. And I'm taking the liberty of adding some blooming flowers. Oh, that. please yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> thank cool. you yeah, for what coming. A, what a beautiful place, Julia, thank you. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> So this is um, ending our Facebook Lives for the day. Thanks for tuning in. If you tuned in to all three, we appreciate it. Um, thank you, Ellen Becker Investment Group, for the overall sponsor of the Art and Garden Tour. Thank you very much, and we'll see you Monday.